Hey, this is David of Inspect Canada. Another very common deficiencies, electrical deficiency that we find during our home inspections are hot neutral reverse or reverse polarity outlet. The thing is most people don't know that it's set up like that because the outlet actually works, but it is dangerous to get a shock. It will damage your appliances. It could damage all the wiring inside these appliances. There's nothing great about it, but the beauty is that it's super easy to fix. Really, in the back of this outlet, there's two wires and they're just reverse. So it'll be a really easy fix. How do you think that happens? Well, whenever they wire a house, they're not gonna put the most expensive guys on the outlets. They'll put the new guys, the guy that just started out, and once in a while, they kinda mess it up. So we see that on old homes, brand new homes, we see that all the time. And let me show you how easy it is to fix something you can do yourself, so follow me along. One of the problem with hot neutral reverse or reverse polarity is that if you plug a lamp, for example, in this outlet, this one here is, is a regular well wired outlet so it, it doesn't have reverse polarity now if i plug this lamp into it and i use my tester here and i put it right in there there's no power but let's see once we plug it in the outlet that has reverse polarity right over here and then we put the tester in there this lamp is constantly energized, so it's dangerous to get a shock, but also it will damage the appliances because they're constantly energized. There's always power into it. It could fry the wiring in the inside. There's nothing good about it, but the best part is that it's a super easy fix. Let me show you how it's done. Before we start on anything here, as usual, the first thing we're gonna do is to cut the power off. So I'm gonna go in the panel and shut that breaker off. All right, now that I've got this, the power off, I'm gonna take the outlet and I'll show you exactly what's going on behind it. This time, I'm gonna use my little drill. I don't wanna spend the whole day on this. So we got the black that was on the silver screw ring. Really the black, which is the hot and the positive, should be on the golden screw and as you can see here the neutral is on the white is, is on the golden screw so this is what's happening those two wires were just really reversed so all i need to do is to take this outlet out i'll straight this out here but this time i'm gonna put a brand new outlet since we have that open so on this outlet here you can see we have golden screws these will be for the hot the black wire and the silver screws and those will be for the neutral and we don't have a ground to hook up over here on this one so and then the top here is where everything will be going so i'm just gonna put my white wire the neutral on the silver screw all right so let's push this back in the box You want to make sure you put it nice and straight. We don't have a crooked outlet. It's going to look unprofessional. All right, so now let me put my outlet tester in here. Right now we have no power. I will go and turn on the power and if everything worked out perfect, these two lights should come on. So give me a second. Success. As you can see, these two lights are now yellow and that means that this outlet is wired correctly. So as you can see, hot neutral reverse or, or reverse polarity is a very easy fix, something you can do yourself. You don't need a whole lot of tools. Uh, I just really use the drill and then I replace the outlet. You don't need a whole lot. It's nice to have a, an outlet tester. It's good to have at home for all kinds of purpose anyways. So if you guys have any questions about reverse polarity or hot neutral reverse, just reach out to us directly. We'll be super happy to help in any way we can. Until next time, have a beautiful day.